hello everybody. This time we're gonna learn lesson 6.3. Plants and animals are adapted to different environments. We are going to describe how plants and animals are adapted to hot, wet, cold, or dry environments. Use secondary information sources to research questions. Group plants and animals with environments that they are adapted to. Getting started. Look at the photograph. Which photograph do you think says a hot, wet environment? Why? Which photograph do you think shows a cold environment? Why? Talk about which animals you think might live in the region shown in each picture. Suggest what these animals might eat. The key words are adaptation, burrow, filter, fin, gills, gland, resin, fall, form, waxy. Adaptations of plants and animals in hot, dry environments. Adaptations are features that help plants and animals to live in their environment. In a hot, dry environment, there is very little water. The small amount of rain dries up quickly because of the heat. Plants and animals are adapted to these conditions by using very little water. The cactus plant and the camel are both good examples. Forms instead of leaves allow it to lose less water. And waxy coating stops water from escaping. There is a fat stem to store water and deep roots to find water. For the camel, there's long eyelashes to keep sand out of eyes. Thick lips so they can eat 40 desert plants. Camels can survive a week or more without water and several months with no food. Humps store fat for energy. Wide tough feet so they can walk on hot sand more easily. Smaller animals like rats and lizards also live in hot, dry places. They dig burrows to stay in during the hot days. They only come out of their burrows at night when it is cooler. Activity 1. How plants and animals are adapted to hot, dry environments. Copy and complete these sentences. In a hot, dry environment, plants have something instead of leaves. Roots go under the surface to find. Plants store water in fat. Plants have coatings to prevent water loss. Plant-eating animals must be able to eat plants. Small animals take to keep cool during the hot days. Animals must be able to survive without much. Work with a partner. Think of other animals that live in hot, dry places. Share your ideas with the class. How am I doing? How well can I get information from pictures? Rate yourself with a three stars or two stars or one star. Adaptations of plants and animals in wet environments. Water lilies and lotus plants live in water. They have adaptations such as large flat leaves which float on the water. Big air spaces in the leaves and stems so they can float and leaves can absorb sunlight at the water surface. Weak stems because the water supports the plants. Small roots because the plant is in water all the time 
and does it need to be anchored in the soil? Fish are adapted to their environment because they have gills. Gills allow fish to absorb oxygen from the water. Fins allow the fish to move through the water. Many birds, such as ducks and geese, swim in water. They have webbed feet to help them do this. This is like wearing flippers when you go swimming. Seabirds have waterproof feathers so that they can dive for food. Seabirds also have special glands that get rid of salt that they take in when they drink seawater. Flamingos live in a shallow water environment. Their long, thin legs allow them to walk through them easily. Their long, flexible necks allow them to reach food below the water surface. Think like a scientist. Research plants and animals that live in a wet environment. Work with a partner. Choose a plant and an animal that live in a wet environment in your country. It can be a freshwater environment like a river or a lake, or it could be the sea. Name the plant and animal. Find pictures of the plant and animal. Name the environment the plant and animal live in. List all the ways in which the plant and animal are adopted adapted to their environment. Present your findings in class. How are we doing? How well did you and your partner share ideas, collect information, encourage your, each other, present your work, give yourself three stars or two stars or one star to each of these questions. Adaptations of plants and animals in cold environments. There are very cold environments in the far north and the far south of the world. Remember, these are the regions that have long summer days, but also very long dark winters. There is not much rain, but there is a lot of snow in winter. Some animals have thick fur to keep them warm. But during the winter, when there is no food, some animals either hibernate or migrate. The soil in cold regions freezes in winter. In summer, the top few centimeters fat fall. Trees and other plants have adaptations for these conditions. For example, trees have resin on their bark. This is a sticky substance that helps to keep the tree warm and prevent the tree from losing moisture. Activity 2. How plants and animals are adapted to a cold, dry environment. Match the adaptations from 1 to 4 of the tree in the picture with the reason for these adaptations from A to D. The adaptations are shallow roots, needles with waxy surface, sloping branches, and thick bark and resin. The reason for these adaptations are snow can slide off the branches, prevents too much water loss, keeps the tree trunk warm, and prevents water loss, and tree grows in soil that will not be frozen in summer. Which animals in the picture do you think will hibernate in the winter? Which animal in the pictures do you think will migrate in the winter? Did I do my best in the research activity? Look what I can do. I can describe how plants and animals are adapted to hot, wet, cold, or dry environments. I can use secondary information sources to research questions.
I can group plants and animals according to the environments they are adapted to. So that's the end of lesson six point three. Thank you and goodbye.